Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2, and we are back, and we are gonna go see what the stranger thing is. You're leaving me, huh? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this then! Hey, 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 What you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault to Darky White! Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what up? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. <laughs> no. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Where's my horse? Alrighty, well, uh, so what all we gotta do is just, um, take down the wanted posters. And where are they, by the way? I can imagine they would be next to the sheriff's office, right? Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? The man's a you menace. look like an idiot waving that thing around. That all? All right, then. Good morning to you. Sure, we're next to the sheriff's office. Yep. You always lost one for gossip. Jethro Mingle thought gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. I know that's funny how the way they are. Mr. Black and Mr. White. That reminds me of that, um... Jimmy Holdaker had a weak heart. What should we call it? Of a heart attack. Nonsense. Uh, I forgot what... I forgot. There was a movie that I saw and the directors <laughs> had the same shit as well. That's hilarious. Oh, okay. Here you go. Move your ass. I'm just in the mono posters, damn it. There's another one right there. Okay, I guess not. Oh yeah, this guy. Thank what you. can I do for you? The uh, guy with the snake bite says I can put something here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. 
If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his owe, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. Hmm. tonic. Where's that ammunition? Dropping shells. Is there like anything else? Outfits. The Heartlanders. View. Oh, that's a nice outfit. The Earl. Mm. The Gambler. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. No, you're paying next time, though. Um, I'm going with a hat. A different hat. I'm tired of wearing the old same hat. Stalker hat. Like, how do you like the way that looks? Orange black hat, western hat. Oh, that's a cool looking one. Hey, it actually matches my uh, outfit. I like that. It must have more. Come on now. Let's just have a vest they have. How about the gold one as well? I'll go with that one. That's my station that you can do though. Thank you. Actually, wait, hold on a minute. Do they have a. Hold on. Didn't you just leave? Damn, what the hell are you complaining for? I'm the one buying from you. I don't have to be an asshole about it. Um hats. Let me go back to that one hat. I wanna see if they had a stock hat. Did they have like a yellow A lot of folks like that? No. I want that hat to be too big. Like, I like the bulldog hat. I like that one. Military scout cap. I want to do like a black and yellow type of hat. Here, about this one. What you're after? I'm really not, to be honest with you. Big city hat. Crusher hat. No need to bluff. You want one of those little dolls, don't you? Estate boss hat. Damn, I'm kind of hoping that they're gonna have like a little like gold band at the top. That's popular. Accessories. We got gloves and stuff. Rifleman gloves. What's caught your eye? Uh -huh. 
I actually like those, that's nice. Cavalry gloves. Or well, actually you can buy like a color sort of thing, like on Destiny, where you can um, have like those, uh, whatchamacallit, what were those, shade, shaders I think? Something up on your tab. Thanks again. Look to you. Thank you. Hello. Hello there. Howdy. All right, now let's go see if we can try to find some of those posters. Oh God. As I'm watching the back. You have been banned with. You have bond. Oh, banded. <laughs> that is bonded. Maybe. Um. Where else would they have posted that poster at? I like the outfit that I have on. It looks nice. Just I wish that they had a better color for the hat. Oh, the donkeys moving around. Oh, I know where. By the train station, of course. Out of the way, idiot. I ain't going too fast. You're just going too slow. Right? There should be a post around here somewhere, right? Maybe inside? Great, Scott. Don't always work out. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. All right, well, come back if you change your mind. Inspect bounty poster. Get away. Caught the help talking about that boy you got killed in the road. Let's go, cool, girl. Can I take off the gloves, by the way? Oh wait, no, because this because this isn't my main horse. That's right. I think I can on my uh, actual horse. So where would this last one be? I can understand the train station. Oh, at the saloon, of course. Why did I not check the saloon? Yeah, right there. Knew it. Black and just a white. Interesting. Mister, mm -hmm. I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Shit. What are you doing, boy? What is this horse doing? Shit. Okay, then. I told you, fella. This post is mine. Don't make me tell you again. I'm gonna have to, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you, how else I should do it. How, how else I should have done it. I hand them into the sheriff. Nah, I wanna. 
I would, but you know what? To be honest, I actually want to see how this uh, turns out. To see these idiots will probably kill each other. Oh god, watch out for trees, watch out for trees. Is there someone next to that campfire? Oh, here they are, right here. I swear, if these guys try to rob me, I'm gonna instantly kill both of them. Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have. But he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. You're welcome, Taylor. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right. Till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. <laughs> Those guys are perfect. Yep. Like, it's just friends or whatever. Oh, so that's just too great. What's that? Oh. Alrighty. Let's go see what, uh, type of bounty poster we got. I don't be cool if they put up your poster. If you had a bounty on you, like they post it around the city or whatever, that would be cool and you have to take them down. down that would be cool. Like you, you'll reduce the chance of you getting uh, bounty hunters. They should they should do that. That should be a uh, mechanic if they do that. Did you hear about that gunfight out of the cornfield by Ray Wade Manor? <laughs> Hello. Probably blame that on the Grays too. Yeah, Mark Johnson. Wait, hold up a minute. Didn't we just meet that guy that was the guy that was just standing or whatever? Still water. Alright, let's go get him. I think I'm sleeping on the floor. Alrighty. a sign of respect to our creator we pay respect to the dead tell us straight father sir we're in a moment of grief you mean you are oh father what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully can I say some he shit? Carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Okay, I'm just gonna let them do their thing. What would you guys? And here's something I've been asking you. Uh, I've been at meaning to ask people as well. What do you guys want to see? Would you guys would rather want to see an undead nightmare DLC part two for Red Dead Redemption or aliens? I want to see the smoke off in the distance as well see where the guy's at. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below because I would... I'm interested to see uh, how many of you guys would uh, want to see that DLC. Personally for me, I uh, do Nightmare 2, but to be honest, an alien one, that could be cool. Or maybe both. Shit, I mean, might as well, right? <laughs> that happened. Happen on the boat? Oh, they're swimming away. Okay, I was wearing. Girl. Is there a corpse on the map? No, well, that was weird. Yeah. 
Alright, well, let's get going. I know where he's at. Our smoke show was a little bit further right there. Yep. Oh, that's not him? Oh, okay. Are we gonna have to lasso him? Let me get my lasso out then. We ain't going till you get this right. I can't. For your bounty. Oh, come to mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Fine. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. What the fuck's you want to do? Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. Don't I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family, okay? You gonna take me, or what? Come on now. Take me away, or let me loose. Leave my daddy alone. Billy Lee. Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I'm not gonna loot him. I love you, daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. I'm gonna break him out of prison or something. I should have looted him. Now what was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke. Premature. If he does it again, I'm just gonna straight up loot him. I'll probably lose some honor for it, but whatever. Let me feed my horse real quick. I I can't cause uh Oh shit. Yeah, that's a smart ass idea. I knew something was up. The moment, the moment when he was talking to him, I knew something was up. He really thought that, that was gonna work, though. 
I do not know who I am. I'm the famous gunslinger of the West. You heard? Here we go. You know what? I'm gonna loot him. Loot him. this guy first. Then loot you. Honestly, because you deserve it. What you got for me? Oh, look at that. I actually didn't lose honor. That's right, because it's a bounty. That stone away. What? Failed. You became. Because I kill, oh, dude. Th this is what I'm talking about. Like, you, you you see how that's annoying, right? Where I killed the guys and like I had to loot them or whatever. But really, like, I'm gonna loot you first. Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. Like, you, you gotta see why that is annoying. Still. Why is my horse here? Come on, follow me. Can you, um, um... That's honestly completely annoying that I actually got wanted because Johnson. Johnson. What? Just you real quiet back. Ah. Ah. Damn my other fucking horse again the fucking way of my shit. what you want? Damn it. I knew you was being quiet. Let me, uh... Come pick him up! Pick him up, Morgan! Oh my god! The buttons, like, they don't. Oh, no, shh, don't fuck. Hurry up. Am I gonna get wanted? I swear to fucking god, if I get fucking wanted for this shit. Mount horse, got it. Alright, better not be any more fucking bullshit, swear to god. Like. Okay, yeah, that was still back over there, so yeah, that's good. My 
another horse coming? Okay, yeah, he is. Hold on. Won't be long to we're in roads. And honestly, like, it's awesome that those, that they can do that, but I think it's stupid, though, if they... Because they, they witnessed. Those guys were shooting at me, and then I shot back to kill them, loot them, and then, like... Like, come on. I hope they make it quick. Alright, uh, some my uh, hello. The fuck out of my way, dude. the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that bounty hunter. You ain't wider than white. I hope your past catches up with you. Oh, believe me, it has. Call on me, boy. Alright, so now... let head back to camp. Now let's go see what Jose needs. But I think it's stupid though is that because I got wanted, it didn't tell me nothing. Like it didn't warn me, no nothing. It just said, oh, you got wanted. Like, come on, man. Yeah. If you don't warn me about that stuff, like it's not really going to be my fault. Where's that one house that we burned? I thought we were there. Yeah, the house right there. Oh wait, yeah. Which house? Was it this one? I think it was that big ass house right there. But I could be wrong. Surprisingly, no, I haven't ran into other bounty hunters that try to put a bounty on me. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there was a tale, and I, I don't know if this is true or not, that some guy actually, he would go around looking for the bounty hunter posters, and... It's me! It... He uh, faked the people that were on the bounties or whatever. I don't know if that's true or not. Where like he like basically reconstructed their faces or whatever, like with a knife and stuff, and like put it back together. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's interesting. Oh, you can't take off your gloves. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want that hat. Yo, state boss. No, I don't want the state boss. That one. That's the one I want. Horse right here. There's ghosts in your head, Reverend. Ghosts! Ghosts! I saw a ghost! A young woman! You've lost your mind. You poor bastard. Where? You alright, Reverend? I know what I saw. A girl. A ghost of a girl in white. Okay. Well, I suppose I should be getting off. Alright. I'm 
I'm gonna save the outfit that I have on real quick. I know what uh, outfit I'm gonna replace for this. So this one is just too bad ass. I wonder what other type of customization we'll be able to do for our characters in uh, online mode. Outfits. Delete that one. All right, so now the hat, or this hat. It only had like a gold thing. Stalker hat. Store on horse. Go Clint Eastwood. Bests. It was this one, right? Yeah. Coats. Hey, that actually. Hey, that actually. That surprisingly actually goes well. I like it. I really like it. What's that? Was this? No, it was custom. It was this. I actually want Arthur's one. Can I, wait, can I add this one to the horse? Outfits. Store. 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 Was that a winter outfit? That one, uh, gloves. I don't have any gloves on. Wait, but I want to have at least one outfit for the snow, at least. You know, just in case. Custom. Remove. Where is it? Here it is. I'll make sure that one's ready, you know? Oh, this is probably about to hurt like son of a bitch. Ow. Shouldn't know that was gonna happen. Alright, let's go see what Hosea wants. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Oh, what's up with him? 
Jose. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better oh, clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. God damn it. I better be able to customize it. <laughs> but if I know, it's probably not. No, I want to see what. Oh, nice. We are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I Tuxedos. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. Nice hat. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Ah, shit. You know something's gonna happen. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. I probably should have shaved. <laughs> gentlemen, Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to meet you. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come on, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has a, the thing, you know. Sorry. Respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, go. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Alrighty. I have a feeling something's gonna happen. I don't know why. I, I just have a feeling. Oh, nice paintings. Or portraits. What a nice house. Even back in the old times, like, they had a nice house. Boys, you've arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation mm. up on the island. Nice outfit. He comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> hey, what's going on? That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> okay. All these vulgar people, they hate me. 
Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what... Uh, Why does he have a bullet in his hat? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Why'd he lock that door? Seems a little bit weird. I don't know what's going on in there. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good evening, mister. Alrighty. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to rob. Bill, go make us a Champagne, sir? Come on, take the champagne. Give me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim lengths in, you know? <laughs> you know well, hello, gentlemen. Featherstone Chambers. Pleased to meet you. Which one was the... Can I save this guy? <laughs> Which one's the mayor? I know I can't go out there. Oh, there he is. Hello. Gentlemen, I Hi, hope you're sir. having a fine evening. Uh, sure. Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here, was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, oh. cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count 
to a stop. Need to rejoin the park. Hello. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Fireworks, nice. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. Got it. Well, unfortunately, we have run out of time for this episode, but, uh... In the next episode, we'll leave off from where we left off from here and go see what this guy was talking about, uh, what Cornwall wants. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.